Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my royal beaded rings. These rings match the royal beaded pendant that I did a tutorial on last year, but the rings aren't made the same exact way. Because the pendant was so big, it didn't work out as well as a ring, so I had to use smaller beads, less seed beads, and I also had to skip the step where I add the seed beads right here to fill that gap in. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the royal beaded rings. Here is the list of materials you're going to need to make a ring. You're going to need 4 feet of 8 pound or 10 pound monofilament. You're going to need 12 6 millimeter beads. And I usually do um, 6 of one color and 6 of another color. And these beads, they can be rounds, bicones, faceted rounds. I did bicones in this blue one. You're going to need 6 8-aught seed beads. You're going to need 11-aught seed beads, and they can be as many colors as you want. Um, I'm using three colors in this ring. In this ring, I did three colors of 11-aught seed beads. This one has two colors of 11-aught, and the 8-aught seed beads in the center I did in the iris to match the beads on the edge. And then this ring, I did two colors of 11 nut sea beads. I did all white, pearly white sea beads in the top and on the ring band I had some light pink sea beads that I put in between. So these are all the materials that you're going to need to make this ring. It really doesn't take that much to make this ring so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is make the center of the ring. I'm going to pick up four sea beads And cross to the fourth. Put my ends together and bring the seed bead all the way down to the center, like this. Now I'm going to take one string, pick up an 8 dot seed bead, then I'm going to pick up four 11s, just like this, and slide all of them down. Then I'm going to take my black string and I'm going to go through this seed bead here in this direction. Just like this and pull it through. Then I'm going to slide this over to there. I'm going to do, do it again. Take this string, pick up an 8 out seed bead and four 11s. Then I'm going to slide them down. I'm going to skip the 8 out C bead and I'm going to go through this 11 out C bead in this direction. Just like this. And then I'm going to slide this up to the other ones. So we have this. Now I'm going to flip my work over and do the same thing on this side. My red string. 8 out C bead and 4 11 outs. Whenever I'm making rings, I always try to make sure that both sides of my strings stay even. Because once I get closer and closer to the end, I could run out of string on one side and I'll be unable to finish my ring and I'll have to undo it and remake it. So I'm going to go back through this with a vanilla seed bead, just like I did it on the other side. Slide it over here. I'm going to do it one more time. Pick up an 8 out seed bead and four 11 out seed beads. Slide them down and go through this first 11 out seed bead in this direction. and slide it down. So now we have five of these. And we have to make sure that this is in the very center of our string. So I'm going to put my ends together. Get them even. And once they're even, I'm going to pull this down and make sure that this is in the center. And it is. 
it's just right. So now I'm going to take both ends of my string. You can see this is what we have. And I'm going to pick up one 8 dot C bead on each side. Then I'm going to pick up an 11 dot C bead and cross through it. Bring it down. Until we have this. And then, with my dominating hand, I'm going to pick up three C beads and cross through the third. Pull it down. Now this is what we have. We're now ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to pick up with my red string three C beads of the same color and then I'm going to pick up a pearl and cross through it. Bring the pearl down. So we have this. Now with this string that's exiting towards the inside of my ring, it's red, I'm going to take this string and go through this C bead right here. So now we have this. With my right string, it's black, I'm going to pick up three more of these C beads and I'm going to cross to this third C bead. So now they, there is a closed circle around the pearl. Now I'm going to take the left string, it's black, and I'm going to go through this little bit of C bead right here, that point. Now I'm going to take my right string and I'm going to pick up a different color, this bronze C bead. Then I'm going to pick up another one of these and cross through this C bead. Bring it down. Now we have to get my left string ready so we can cross through the pearl. So I'm going to take the left string in my right hand because I am right handed. And you can see that it's exiting right here out of this C bead. I'm going to go through this C bead. Pull it through. Now we have this. So usually we picked up the three C beads, but we already have this amber colored C bead already here. So I don't have to pick up the third one. So I'm just going to be picking up two this time. And then I'm going to pick up my pearl and cross through it. Now we have this. So now I have to take my left string, the one that's exiting towards the center, and I have to get it to go up through this side C bead right here, this 11 knot. And it should look like this. Now we have to pick up, you can see we don't have the amber one there, we have to pick up three of these C beads and cross through the third one. So now there's another circle around this pearl. I'm going to take this string that's exiting on the inside 
And I'm going to go through this CB right here at the tip. Oops, I just pushed it up. Now I have to take my right string, pick up a bronze seed bead and one of these, and I'm going to cross through it. Bring it down. Sorry about that, I got caught in something. So now it should look like this. Now I have to take this string and go through this 11 knot seed bead. I'm going to do that with my right hand. Just like this. Pull it through. Now it looks like this. Now we have this C bead here again, so that means we only pick up two of that color instead of three. And then I have to pick up my pearl. I'm going to cross through it. Bring it down. Now we have this. I'm going to take this string that's on the inside. You can see where it's exiting at. And I have to go through this bronze seed bead. Pull it through. Tighten my work up. Now we have this. I'm going to take my right string and pick up three of these seed beads because we don't have one already existing here. So cross through this third one. You should have this. I'm going to take the string that's on the inside again and go through this C bead right here. Now I have to pick up two C beads. One bronze one amber, across to this one. So now that we're here, I have to take this string that's pointing towards the center of our work and go through this seed bead. But I'm going to do it with my right hand. Go right here through this C bead. Then I'm going to hold this string and pull it through. Like this. Now we already put this C bead here, and every time we do that, that means that we only need to pick up two instead of three of this color. Then I'm going to pick up my pearl. Cross through it. And they have small holes. So cross through that, bring it down, take the string again that's right here pointing towards the inside, and we have to pass it. through this C bead right here. Just like that. With my right string, I'm going to pick up three because I don't have the amber one there. And on the third one, we cross. Bring it down. Now, 
a lot of the times when I make these, you'll have some that are going all in the right direction, and then you'll have one that's like this that pops up. You just have to push it down like that. And sometimes it will pop back up again, but as long as you keep pushing it down, and then when you get towards the end, it will finally stay down. So going through that C bead right there, just like this. Now we have to pick up one bronze and one ember. <clears throat> Cross to the amber, bring it down. We have this. I'm going to take this string exiting towards this with my right hand and go through this C bead right here, this bronze one. Just like this. Hold this string and pull this one through. Now we have one there, that means we only need two more. Two more of those, and then my pearl. Cross through, bring it down. Now both of these two are wanting to pop up. Okay, so now we have to take this string and go through this C bead. There we go. Just like that. Now I have to pick up three of these and cross through the third. Now we should have this. So crossing through that bead, now we have to take our left string and go through the tip right here, this point, that C bead, and pull your string through. So we're just repeating the same steps over and over, going in a circle to make this part. Now I'm here, and I have to pick up on my right string a bronze C bead and an amber, and I'm going to cross through. Now we have this. I'm going to take my left string, this one. We have to go through this bronze C bead from the right side. Just like this. I'm going to hold on to this string and pull this one through. Now with my right string, I have this one here, so that means I only need two again. And after two, I pick up my pearl. Cross through it. Bring it down. And tighten this up so there's no loose areas. So we're right here and we're getting ready to close it up. Exiting out the, this pearl on, on the inside, I have to take this string, it's on the inside, and I'm going to go up, take this, through this C bead right here, this one.
just like this. Now with my right string, it's red, I'm going to pick up three of these seed beads and cross to the third. Bring it down. With my left string, this one, it's pointing towards the inside of my work, I'm going to take it and go through this bronze colored sea bead right here. And then I have to go through one amber colored sea bead. I lost my end. Here it is. One amber colored sea bead that's right here, right beside where we're exiting. So now I pull both strings, and if your pearls are popping upward, you can push them down. So now we have this, and I have to add one more bronze sea bead. I'm going to pick up my last one and cross through it. So now we have this, and because it's so messy, the next part we're going to do is add sea beads right here, right in front of the holes of the pearls, and it's going to have make it have a much better shape. So now let's add in those seed beads. I'm doing six at each point of my um, pearls. So right here, exiting out of this bronze seed bead, we have to go through these two right here. Like that. And right here is where I'm going to add a seed bead. And then I'm going to go through these two. just like that. Then I have to go through this bronze and through these two amber colored sea beads. Then I'm going to pick up a bronze sea bead right here. It's going to go right there. Go through these two. This one. these pick up another and then I'm going to go through these two sea beads through this bronze And then through these two. Pull it tight. Now you can already see that this side is starting to look much better compared to that side. So I'm going to swap my strings. And I'm going to go down through these two C beads. So I kind of did about halfway. My black string was just a little bit longer, so I took it to this hole. So I've put one, two, three in that side, and my black string's exiting out here. So I just went through those, and I'm going to pick up a bronze seed bead and go through these two. Go through this bronze one here. down through these two
pick up a bronze. Go through these two. This bronze, and if you can, through the other two. Sometimes it's too hard. Okay, I got through one. And through this last one here. Now I'm exiting up this side. Push that pearl down. Now I have to pick up my last bronze sea bead and cross through. Make sure all the pearls are facing down or whatever beads you're using. And it looks like this. All the pearls are on the back. Just like that. Now we're ready to add the beads around the outer edge. The ones like that to make it look this way. Before we add the outside beads, make sure that this is really tight. And then take one string, doesn't matter which, because we're going to do the same to both. Pick up a seed bead, an 11, 6 millimeter round, an 11, and go through, exiting out here, to this next bronze sea bead. Just like this. Pull the strings. Do it again. An 11, 6 millimeter round. An 11. Exiting here, I'm going to go through this one. Pick up an 11, round, an 11, go through this one, pull it tight, both strings, now I did three on this side and I'm going to do three on this side. My marker fade it off again, but that doesn't matter because you don't need it for this part. An 11 at C bead, the round, an 11. Exiting out the C bead, I'm going to go through this one, right here at the bottom of the pearl. C bead and a round. Sea bead. Go through the next one. So exiting here, we're going to go through this one. Now I have to take and pick up an 11 around and an 11. So, I'm going to go through this seed bead, the one that this one's already passing through, and then after that, pull through. I have to go with the same string through this seed bead. And then with this one, I have to make it go through this seed bead. Because this is where we're going to add our ring band at. Just like that. Now tighten it up. And there we go. So now we're ready to make the ring band. So exiting out of the C beads, the three C beads like that, I'm going to do this ring band. 
It's very simple. I'm going to pick up two C beads on each side. Then I'm going to pick up two more C beads and cross through them. Just like that. Two more C beads on each side. Pick up two more and cross through them. Two C beads on each side. Pick up two more, cross through them. Looks like this. I'm going to do it one more time. Two on each side. Pick up two more. And cross through them. So keep going doing this ring band until you can wrap it around your finger wrap it around your finger and it reach, meets the other side then you know that it will fit you so keep going I kept on going till I got to the length that I need to wrap around my finger now I'm going to take two C beads off this because I'm just going to work with one side for now the side with the two C beads and I have to go through these C beads over here so um, if I left those on the other side they would fall off if I didn't hold on to them so this side has to come through here in this direction so I'm going to pass through all three of these C beads this way and go through the third one just like this okay so now this is one side and now we have to do the other so on the other string pick up the two seed beads and now we have to cross through these in the opposite direction so I'm going to go through one at a time this doesn't have to be real tight right now the band because it is adjustable once we get through so now I have to go through this center one and this one could be a little tricky So what I usually do is I take my fingernails and I press it out from the rest of the band to go through it like this. Then I'm going to go through the last one. Pull both strings now. And at this point, go ahead and try it on and make sure it fits your finger. And when it loosens up, when you get it on your finger, just pull this tight like this to make sure it fits your finger. So now I'm just going to add C beads in these gaps right here. So this is the easiest part, adding the C beads in the gaps. I'm going to take, exiting out those three, and go up through these two. And do the same on this side. Go up through these two. Pull it. I'm going to put my last string over to the side. And I'm going to pick up one C bead. Oops, I got two. And go up through these two C beads here. 
And this red sea bead is going to sit right there in that hole. Do it again through these two. Just like that. Again, one sea bead. Just like this. One sea bead. Go through these two. And one more time. One sea bead. And go up through these two. So keep going, repeating, adding the seed beads in between all these gaps and do the same thing on this side. And once you get over here and you're exiting out of these two beads and these two beads, I'll tell you how to tie the knots. I'll show you. Okay, so right here we're exiting out of those two seed beads. I'm going to take one of my strings and I'm going to tie a knot right here. I'm going to take my string and go underneath this red bead. And it's going to come out to the bottom. I'm going to grab it, pull it through, and I'm going to have a loop right here. Make sure that both strings are on this side. And I'm going to go through this loop twice. Slowly pull it down. And right here is where my knot's going to go. Now I'm pulling the knot this way so I can go through this red bead. And once I get to the red bead, I pull the string and the knot goes inside the red bead. So now I have to pass through these three eleven knot C beads. To the third one. Oops. Okay. Now I'm going to take my string and go through this hole right here. I'm going to come in the underneath of my ring. I'm going to take my string, grab it, and make sure that both my strings are right here. I'm going to tie another knot. Go through twice. Slowly pull it down right there. Now I'm going to go through the round bead and pull my string and the knot goes inside this bead. So again I will go through these three C beads here and once I get here I'm going to tie a knot then I'm going to go through this bead pull the knot through and cut my string and I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. So go ahead and tie your half hitch knots in your ring. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry it was so long. Please like this video, comment down below, subscribe to me if you want to see more videos, and follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Till next time.